All right, so here's the truck with the cap installed. Uh, I still have to do the through bolts, uh, bolting with five, so I'm gonna use 5 sixteenths hardware, uh, bolting it to the frame or the bed rails. I use zip, zip screws because I just wanted to get it installed and get out of there. Uh, but I, I actually put three on each side, so it's been fine. Actually, I remeasured it, and they haven't moved. I've been driving it around, <laughs> but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go crazy driving it um, like that. Uh, I'll be doing that tomorrow, putting in the right hardware. But oh, I also bought the carriage bolts to bolt down the cargo glide to the truck vault, just to make it a little more secure, just so it has no movement. Um, so I plan on putting four 5 16 through bolts on each side of this cap. That should be plenty. I'll use uh, blue thread locker and I'll use bl blue thread locker on everything instead of messing with like uh, lock, lock uh, washers and things like that. So, and yeah. Uh, so anyway, um, the previous owner, he had this on a truck that I did not know. Um, it's shaped weird. The way um, let me let me tell you what happened. So I measured this to make sure you know so I can cut this cargo glide so it it would clear that. So then when I went to go pick it up and we put the cap on, which this thing weighs like six to eight hundred pounds. It's, it's so heavy. Um, the guy had a had a forklift there. He was able to borrow from a company across the street. So, yeah, without that, I, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Would have needed like four other, four to six other people. It's crazy. But, so, I measured this opening here, and it was 46. I didn't, I didn't think anything of it. I didn't think I should measure down there, too. Well, come to find out, it's actually 48 down there. Width. Cross. 46 here. But... It, there's nothing wrong with the cap. It's not cockeyed. It's not messed up. What he, what he told me was today, I wish he would have told me this before, but, you know, in a way, I'm kind of glad I didn't know because I'm happy with it. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, uh, a Ford truck he had, I guess some Fords have a, 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 weird, a weird shape to them where they're wider up front and they narrow, taper, uh, taper off in the back. So... I was a little bit irritated about that because when this is closed all the way, there's a big gap right here. This gap gets bigger because it's wider up there. But yeah, now I just, it would have been nice to have a cap that was 48 inches, you know. But then again, I guess uh, this would have gotten in the way anyway. So ah, I, I just can't, I just can't carry sheet goods. Just going to, I'm okay with that. I've already, uh, yeah, I've already made peace with that. So uh, the only thing I'm going to do is put pieces of angle here so things don't, uh, you know, slide all, all over the place. Um, another thing, the guy was shorter, so, and I think the truck he had might have been, anyway, they're not level. Like, they're not, I need to shorten, you know, open this up and move it up. I, I like, I want to have them nice and Straight like that level. Uh, sorry, I was just checking some. Yeah, I gotta bolt this thing down. I noticed when I did that, see how it moves? It's because, um, well, I don't even think it's because of the zip screws. I just think the bed's cockeyed or the, the cap is a little cockeyed. Like I noticed, so anyway, let me give you a good look at it. Um, let me tell you what I was saying. I noticed on the other side that there's a bigger gap over here. There's a bigger gap here. So I'm just gonna tighten it down and make it seal a little better on that weather stripping. But uh, aside from a couple of rust spots, which I have to address, I already knew about that. It's in good shape otherwise. Everywhere. It's, I'm going to have to pay attention to a couple spots here and there, but 
I don't mind that. For the for what I paid for it, I think it's I think I got a good deal. I paid 500 bucks for the cap. I think that's a good deal. <laughs> I'm not really sure I, I Anyway, um so, same thing on this side. I don't know why you would not want these level, right? Or at least what I mean is, well, wouldn't be 90 degrees to this, but be up like that. I don't know why you wouldn't want that. Because when you lay stuff there, it's just gonna roll off. <laughs> How could you have that on your truck and, and want that? I guess the guy was really short. Um, so, let me back up. So that, that'll even look better once I pull these up a little, shorten the chains. Um, something I just noticed, which is really actually cool, I just pulled these out to take the video so you could see what it looks like, but when I did that, I noticed, look at this, all this, I can actually access stuff right there. I mean, I could access things all the way back here. Now, I couldn't pull a circular saw out here, you know. I don't think I'm putting a circular saw there anyway, but here I probably could. It's a lot... It's a lot bigger of a, of a space there. Um, ah, let me see. So here, about eight inches, see? And then here it gets smaller, about five and a half. But anyway, you could, you could actually see in them. See? You could, you could see. You can actually reach in and grab stuff. So that's pretty cool. Something I didn't even think of when I was setting it up. Um, I might put something here to kind of take some of the pressure off. Uh, I'm not sure if that would help, but it would. It would. Now nah, you know what? I'm not sure if I'm going to do that because then if I did that, it would raise this up more, and I would lose. Well, I'm only going to lose about an inch. I think I'm going to put something here. To bring the drawer up a little bit maybe it'll alleviate some pressure um, over there you know inside the cabinet but then again it's probably meant meant to be able to handle that so um, yeah pretty cool huh now I got these pulled out uh, and uh, about 16 inches still inside. I could pull it out more. I could even get, like, I could make up something like a leg that I can put put under there to, you know, if I want to pull it out further, I could do that. Well, oh, you know what else I could do? Just thought of this. I could even, if I want to, nah, it only, it only makes sense when this was open. I was thinking I could kind of figure out how to latch this to this. You know, so this would take up some of the, the weight on that. But I need something, if I'm going to pull these out, I'm going to need something under there like a leg so that it's supported when this isn't open. So, yeah, that's that's going to be the way to go there. Um, so what I have here, up here, I have uh, 29 inches. Pretty good. 29 by 46. Uh, that's that is actually enough room for a water heater, but it may not fit with the box. I haven't met. No, it might. That looks like it's going to work. That actually looks like it is going to work, but I don't know yet. But that would be actually really cool. I think it's going to work just by the by looking at it. As you can tell, I'm a little excited about it, the way it's uh, <laughs> coming together. So. I tell you, I'll tell you what I paid for all this stuff. Tell me if I got a good deal. I think I did. I paid 500 for the cap. I paid, I think I paid 850 for the cargo glide, which the thing was like new. Those go for over around 2,000 or more, 2,500. Uh, they don't make the 2,000 anymore. They only make the 2,200 and the 1,500. So anyway, the uh, what do you call it? Truck vault. I've been told that's close to four thousand dollars new, the all-weather one. I paid four hundred bucks for it. 
The only thing wrong with it, it's missing the plastic. See here, doesn't have it. Um, it's supposed to have plastic here, and it rides on rollers inside there. Um, I already called the company. <clears throat> A piece of uh, plastic that goes here is only $8. I don't know why you would take it off, or if it got ripped off, why you wouldn't fix it. But it actually kind of started digging into the wood underneath, so... I'm going to get to it now. It's only not even a six, it's about a 30 second of an inch dug in. So not too bad. I'm going to fix it. I'll fix it before it gets too bad. Now, um, that's oh, awesome, right? So let me, um, okay, let me push this in. So, yeah, I could push it in there. I could have really good access here. Um, I can still leave it out, you know, if I want to, that, that might be a way <laughs> that you'll see it, or I would see it a lot, pretty cool, um, so in order to close this, I guess, I'm gonna have to do this, and kind of, yeah, that's no problem. It's locked. Sorry about the hand. So I'm doing this with one hand. Um, it'll go. It'll go better if I had two hands, but I'm holding the camera with one. I just uh, bought this silicone spray, and I applied it with a rag. I applied it on these here. It's like a plastic. And here I rubbed. I rubbed it on that. And I also sprayed a little here, which I wouldn't do that if I planned on painting the surface or, you know, fixing it or whatever, gluing. You definitely don't want to put silicone where you plan on, you know, repairing with, it just, nothing will stick. So I didn't put any down here because I just don't know yet. Um, I don't think it's going to hurt anything. If anything, it's just going to make it nicer to, to slide, you know. Uh, I'm not, I don't, really don't care. I'm never going to, I don't, I'm never going to paint that. So I might as well just get in the habit of like spraying it whenever it feels a little bit rough or tight. But I think once I replace the, um, rollers and this piece of plastic here, they're actually really operating nice now, uh, with the silicone spray, but, um, probably going to be like a, Maybe every few day thing, I might have to spray a little on there, but um, let me pick it up and push it in. Um, these are actually, you can adjust them so that it, it compresses the rubber gasket inside there. But that's because it's, a, you know, designed to be an all-weather box. But, uh... I don't need it for that, but it, it'll help so that, you know, these aren't banging around and, you know, less noise, less vibration. So, here's the other side. See, it has the plastic. It's only missing it on that one piece. Uh, so, let me, uh, let me close this. I didn't adjust that side yet. Um, so this is cool. Like I said the other day, I could pull it out to there, you know, in line with the tailgate. Be nice. And then I could pull this out a little bit right to there. So now I have full access here and I can reach stuff right there. So that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to put things that I use a lot every day right here because boom you open up the drawers you got a lot a lot of space there now I don't have to have this open obviously I could push it in and I have um, I didn't measure yet but wait did I put it in my pocket yeah so um, I have 
<clears throat> um, yeah, about 21 inches by 21, 21 by 21, perfect. Obviously, 46 and a half, but um, yeah, 21 by 21, that's pretty cool. Uh, so I have a lot of room in here. Um, like I said, I could open this up to the first detent. I mean, I could even, I could even pull these out a little more, you know, not a big deal, but I just thought it was cool. Line it up with the tailgate there. Kind of nice. Um, so leave in, the, leave in the comments, guys, what you think. Uh, this is for my dump trailer. I just actually delivered a dump trailer before I, uh, before, oh, right before the video. But, uh, oh, I could definitely fit a water heater in there. I'm gonna, I can't wait to find out for sure, you know. I don't really usually measure boxes, but I know the water heaters that I usually put in are like 26 inches, but then you got the box. Um, that's pretty cool. And then also what's really cool about it, so when these are open, so I, you know, I have this, if it's drizzling, you know, I'll still be able to get something done. It's probably going to leak though up there. Yeah, if it was raining, obviously it's going to leak there, but, uh, okay. So let me, let me close it all up and then you can see what it looks like. So that's that. And then this comes down. I got the keys for everything. Actually, I don't, I shouldn't report, <laughs> shouldn't say this. Yeah, I don't have the keys for the truck vault, but I got to change the locks. But I have keys for the cap. Um, so let me close these up. It's a Redding truck body or a truck topper. So you, you see here. See, that's about two inches right there hanging over. And then here, about an inch. Doesn't bother me. I actually think it's kind of cool. So what do you think, guys? Did I talk too much? <laughs> I repeat what I said too many times. What do you think? You like it? Well, it'll be in 